primary finding in these studies was an increased incidence in malignant schwannomas of the heart in male rats. And Dr. Sesta will talk about this uh, at great length in his talk. I don't want to steal much of his thunder, but uh, this is a picture of the lesion uh, that occurs right here and throughout here. The other thing that was observed here in the two-year study that, as I mentioned, was also observed in the 14-day study is that we saw an increase in this right ventricular cardiomyopathy. And again, this is something that Dr. Sesta will talk about in further detail in his talk. Uh, but we did see that this was a statistically significant increase that occurred at the 3, point, at the three and the 6 watt per kilogram exposures. This occurred both in males as well as females. Obviously, this occurred to a much lesser extent, but the background rate of this uh, lesion seems to be lower in females as well. So this demonstrates then that the heart is likely a tar is a target organ of RFR exposure. But we're going to focus over here on the right ventricle, and these arrows are, in, are um, identifying regions where there's a loss of some cardiomyocytes. Um, and again, here's a normal right ventricle for comparison, but over here we see uh, some shrunken uh, cardiomyocytes here. Um, and so a few inflammatory cells uh, scattered throughout here. Uh, and this was pretty typical of what we saw in this study for cardiomyopathy in the right ventricle. Uh, obviously, some, some of the lesions were uh, more extensive and extended farther down into the myocardium. Um, uh, other animals had more foci, but this was uh, fairly typical of what we saw. Uh, Rick Adler. So a question now about the heart. Um, I'm um, flagged by the incidence of right ventricular cardiomyopathy. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm comfortable in short-term toxicology studies that the left ventricular, uh, left ventricular um, wall is more commonly affected with this. And so is it also true for two-year studies and NTP's hands that the left ventricle is more the predominant site of spontaneous cardiomyopathy? You're, you're nodding, but that's not going on the record, so I want you to, you know, verbally say, yes, that's true. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> I mean, it's certainly more prevalent in the, and more obvious in the left ventricle. Um, it does occur in the right, but yeah. this study brings out that there's a preponderance of right ventricular cardiomyopathy occurring yes. In, yes. in males, and also in females, which females tend to not have the spontaneous disease. Uh, but we did see that this was a statistically significant increase that occurred at the three point, at the three and the six watt per kilogram exposures. This occurred both in males as well as females. Obviously, this occurred to a much lesser extent, but the background rate of this uh, lesion seems to be lower in females as well. So this demonstrates then that the heart is likely a tar is a target organ of RFR exposure. So here is a rather large neoplasm um, occupying uh, roughly a quarter of, of this uh, section of the brain. And this, there's also some uh, tissue destruction down here caused by the neoplasm. This, this neoplasm was large enough that on the next adjacent section we could still uh, see it. And here we can see um, it's still rather large as well. Um, and you can see the indistinct margins of this lesion. You can't really tell where it ends. You know, you just see fewer and fewer cells the farther away you get. Um, and at some point, there's where that last cell is. Uh, it's hard to tell. Um, so this right here, here is the perivascular cuffing, which I have higher mag magnification of. Here you go. You can see these neoplastic cells clustering around the uh, blood vessel and uh, up here as well. Um, and here, well, I have a higher magnification. You can see also the pleomorph pleomorphic nature of these cells. Some are a little bit larger uh, and have more cytoplasm with some slightly you know, more open nuclei. Some uh, are smaller and have um, darker nuclei and less cytoplasm. Uh, that's very typical of these uh, neoplasms. And here's an example of meningeal invasion have the leptomeninges out here and these neoplastic cells are invading through the meninges along the surface of the brain.